welcome back. Found some more mystery cubes at my local antique market today. I had done a lot of these in the past on the channel and they're very popular so I figured I'd grab a few more if they had them and sure enough they did. Uh, also found this uh, PSA 9 Matt Sundin. It was uh, $15, so I couldn't really pass that up. All right, let's crack into these uh, mystery cubes. I'm going to start with this one here. It's got a Parkhurst card with tape. doesn't really fit. I've already taken the tape off these. So, yeah, it's, uh, I think this is a 54, 55. I can't remember, but maybe it's 58, 59. But yeah, tape marks, fine. Let's get these out. We have Mr. Rod Langway on the back. Uh, he won two Norris trophies. He was a uh, very defensive specialist. Okay. We have some... 84 85s to start it looks like they're all flames Let's go through these steve conroy reggie lemelin there's lanny mcdonald uh career high of 66 goals just prior to this card there's kent nielsen another great underrated uh, player there Jim Poplinski, some doubles, Doug Risebrow. All right, here is some 82-83s. There's Anton Stastny. Pretty good numbers there. I don't, he didn't stay over or he didn't play as long as his brother. There's Ken Morrow. These cards are always in nice shape when I get them. Actually, overall, these are all so far nice except for the, the couple Parkhurst cards. So we have some pretty good cards in this. 78-79s. I always like this design. Mike Bossy uh, rookie year. Ian Turnbull. Love the the Opeachy cut <laughs> off centered on these. There's a Dave Gardner previously with the Cleveland Barons. Rick Bonus, uh, who was a coach for a while. I'm not sure if he still is. He might be. Lots of cool no-helmet players. All right. And there are some 7980s in here, which is awesome. Doubles, triples. Yep. Mike Kaziski. Lots of doubles. Rick McLeish. Uh, two Stanley Cups, I think, with the Flyers. Jim Bedard. I wonder if he's related. <laughs> Connor Bedard. Connor Bedard lighting it up. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one, but I'm just going to sort these out over here. Keep them separate. Okay, another Parkhurst card on the top of this one, and it seems to be stuck. Let's see if I can get it out. They don't really fit. They're bigger. Yeah, this one has tape on it, too. Not as much, maybe. I like the logos they put on the back of these ones. They're pretty cool. There's, I think these are 
59.60 maybe 60.61. Uh, on the back there was a Daryl Sittler with a big crease. This is from 78.79. We have some 87.88s in this one. Tony McKegney. Dan Quinn, Mel Bridgman, Mad Mel, Dan Quinn again. We have some, a couple 8182s, just a few. Rick Bonus. Okay, now we have some 8283s here. There's Pierre Lacroix, Blaine Stoughton. I think he was a WHA stud. We had 52 goals. And they also had 56 in the NHL. Morris Lukowicz. Richard Berdur. Mike Bullard. Another one of those guys that scored 50 goals that you don't hear about. Um, 88-89s. Maybe there's a Brett Hall. <laughs> Not going to happen. Charlie Simmer. Triple crown line, Charlie Simmer. Dan Quinn seems to be in every one of these to this time around. Some goalies. Ken Reggett. Mark Howe. A Hall of Famer in his own right. He had over a thousand points at this point in his career already. WHA and uh, NHL combined. He was good. Just overshadowed, obviously. Uh, we have a few of these 8990s. Mike Crucial Niski, Bernie Federko, Ray Bork, Mike Vernon, Kelly Rudy. More 7879s here. Nick Fatiu. John Potvin passed away last year. Uh, Dennis Potvin's brother. Oh, some 85, 86 cards there. Too bad it wasn't Mario. <laughs> Wishful thinking. And finish off this cube with some more 79, 80s. Uh, Sillaps there. Pete Lapristi. Goalie. John Baby. Interesting. Edmonton. Oh, Al Hamilton. Brian Glennie. Gotta love these old Nordiques uh, cards. They're really, really cool logo. Bring back the Nordiques. Okay, let's do the last one. Looks like a Bruins team card on the top and a checklist on the bottom. I think this is a 77-78 checklist. Yes, it is. All right, Bruins card is from 61-62 maybe. That's a cool card. Okay, so we have a few of these 77-78s here. Michael Plasse. The Rockies, yeah, a couple of Rockies in there. Some more of these uh, seven, uh, 89, 90s. Bernie Nichols, uh, 76 goal, or 70 goals, sorry. He's in the 70 goal club. Only maybe nine guys. It's a pretty elite company there. Dennis Savard, great player. Okay. We have some more 88, 89s here. Do, 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 do. Mo Manta. These are uh, North Stars, Brian Lawton. So these guys must have been in the finals against Mario and company a couple years later. 
There's Anton Stasnegan. Jason Lafreniere. See, uh, Alexi Lafreniere has been healthy scratched a few times lately. Pretty, pretty crazy first overall pick. Um, some 84-85s here. Doug Sotart. Who did he? He went to the Canadians. Okay. Tim Young. Paul McLean. He coached the Sens for a while. Dave Babich. They always kind of look the same to me, him and Paul McLean. Morris Lukowicz. Um, let's see the back of Morris Lukowicz here. He, he had a lot of points. 65 goals uh, for the Jets there. I think that was WHA. Yeah, Winnipeg. Um, where's that stack? I don't know. Okay, 82, 83s. And there's a few other random ones here I see. Rod Langway. Ted Bully. Was he a bully? There's another Rod Langway. Oh, there's a cool 74-75 uh, Michel LaRock rookie card. Bunny LaRock. Uh, so he would back up Ken Dryden. And before, the uh, the Vesna was just strictly based on numbers. So he has four Vesna trophies, technically. And then they changed it. Later on. Pretty cool. Tom Lysiak there. Might be his rookie card too. Yes, it is. This guy famously tripped a referee. Got 20 games. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, Guy Lapointe. Multi-cup winning player for the Habs. Few of these 83-84s. These are all Habs cards, obviously. Pierre Mondu, Gil Malash. And we finish it off with 7980. Ray Como. Jocelyn Gouvermont. Peter Sullivan. Bob Lorimer, Bill Height, Kendra Chuck, Reed Larson is our last card. So yeah, another little trip down memory lane. I always like the um, funny uh, comic things and artwork on the back of old cards. It's pretty awesome. They, they actually took the time to make every single one of these different. So yeah. That was fun. If I see more of these, I'll grab. They only had three this time. So yeah, uh, grading previews. I think uh, PSA has lowered their their bulk uh, pricing. I think I'm going to send a bunch of stuff in now that I can. I think it's $4.99 and under is the maximum value. So that's pretty good uh, for my vintage cards. Yeah, and I'm expecting a couple returns as well. So stay tuned. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I will see you next time.